Hey, collector. It's me. <laughs> it's me. So, I'm going to do a different little reading, something I haven't done. Okay, we're going to do a love reading for the elements. Okay, and first we have fire signs. Okay, so we're going to get the energy of your person. And let me just scoot this back because I need more space. And your energy and your person's energy. Okay, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Remember that time is fluid. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Spirit, what's the messages for my fire signs and love? <clears throat> the energy for my fire signs and the person of interest. So the person that's interested in them. Can I have one, please, for my... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Y'all anxious, boy. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just one card, please. Thank you. Look, two came out. So I'm going to do one for you, one for them. This is yours. This is theirs. You're on the left side. They're on the right. Okay. Uh-oh. Spirit. For you, you want balance. You bring balance. You want you want balance brought to you. You want balance in your life. You don't want to deal with anybody that you have to take too much focus off of what you're doing and to put into them. You want somebody that comes in ready-made, know what they're doing, know what they need to do. You don't want anybody that you got to hold their hand because you work so hard to get the, the uh, stability in your life. Okay? And you are right if a person ain't ready. Okay? You are right. You know, just don't bother you. Somebody's birthday could be on the 23rd. Okay? Of any month. Okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yes, you want, you want balance in your life. You want that yin to your yang. You know, somebody that knows what to do, knows how to treat a person, a woman, male or female. Alright? Whoever I'm talking to. What's going on with you guys in love? What's going on with my fire sign spirit? I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment, right? No matter what people think, how they feel about it. You, you, you set boundaries, you set up things the way you like it. Okay? So somebody needs to come in and compliment that. But if you have to bring somebody up to speed, it's not going to work. Spirit, what's this message for him? Yep, because you heal those old wounds. You don't have any attachment issues. You don't have any codependent is the codependency issues. You're very stable on your own. You bring your own balance into your life. And you want to make sure that whoever you deal with has healed their old wounds. Um, that's what I'm hearing. You don't want anybody to come in that you got to do any kind of healing work with them. <laughs> It is what it is, because you've done it already. Separation, yes, you don't want that. You could uh, recently or maybe have separated from somebody that um, was codependent on you, that needed to do some healing. Take it how it resonates, okay? Hmm. Spirit, what's going on with my fire signs? Energy cleanse. Ooh, I can't make it up. You are not trying to be bothered. Mm -mm. All right, what else you want to pull? <sighs> Spirit, what messages do we have for my fire signs? You know what? I want tarot. I'm gonna use tarot. We'll use these if need, but we don't need them. We're going to use these. We're going to use the lights here. No, we're not going to use the lights here. We're going to use uh, I'm sorry, y'all, but hey, I got to get it where I need it. All right. How are we upside down? Okay. All right, Spirit, what's this message for my fire signs and love? Some of you guys could be a separation from your twin flame, too. I, I'm, I'm also picking up. All right. You can be separated from someone that you um, are involved with. You, you, 
you need to do an energy cleanse. Maybe you were codependent with someone. Maybe there was some kind of trauma bond, but I feel like you're cleansing your energy. You're separating yourself because you're healing. You want balance in your life. You don't want that. You don't want somebody holding on to you, dragging you down with their energy. Man, listen. Leveling up and loving yourself. That's what you're doing. Mm. We have a king of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, you call judgment on the, sep on the separation. You call judgment on the separation from a king of pentacles. Fire signs. Somebody that was very much so uh, focused on finances, money, the material things. Wanted to be looked up to. Mm. So what's this message? Mm. Five of Swords. Yeah, conflict could be third parties. A lot of conflict and chaos in your energy. Yes, you definitely uh, cleansed your energy of this person or you need to. Take it how it resonates. What's going on with my fire signs, spirit? Please and thank you. Three, listen. <laughs> Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict. This could have been somebody you were married to. Take it how it resonates. Or you lived in a home with. You could have children with this person. You guys could have had an extended family, in-laws living with you too. Hmm. Yeah, could have felt stuck, trapped, you know, making commitments and stuff. And this person not even helping, you know. They didn't help with the kids. They it looked like somebody's mama could have been there, could have been your mother, their mother, I don't know. Or an older person that could have needed um, some tending to as well. I feel like you caught judgment on all of this because the whole time, you know, this person was doing things in the background, you know, and it was only to benefit them. It wasn't to benefit you, the household, the family, the kids. It was to benefit them. Their whole focus focus was how they look, you know what I'm saying, how they showed up, regardless of having you in the background taking care of the dirty work while they stood out, you know, as if they were, you know, the king of the castle. Taking how it resonates. Yeah, but there was other individuals involved as well. Yep, I see you walking away. Looking to go in a whole new direction. Okay, this is going on my fire signs. Yep, I feel like you're calling judgment on the situation. I'm, I'm also hearing, although this was your ideal um, environment, the energy wasn't uh, cohesive. It was like... It was more of a everybody for themselves rather than a well-oiled machine. So you calling judgment on the whole situation, the whole family situation. I don't know what this is. Maybe you leaving with the kids and everybody else got to fend for themselves. But somebody's walking away. You know, this could also have been a blended family. Maybe they ain't even your kids. Ooh, come on, spirit. But I feel like... It, they could have been family members that were getting in between your relationship. Take it how it resonates. Because this, yeah, this could definitely have been other family members getting in, in between your relationship and in your business and stuff like that. Causing chaos and conflict and confusion. Mm hmm. Creating an imbalance in your life, in your family. Yeah. Spirit, what's this message? I don't know why I'm here. Like somebody could have, somebody in in their family or could have introduced them to somebody outside the family. You know what I'm saying? To yeah, it was a, it was messy. Yeah, mm hmm, it was real messy because somebody was materialistic. Yep, yeah? you felt left out in the cold. Hmm. Look, you were giving all the love that you could give. You know, very loving, very healing. And you realize that the love you were giving out, you weren't getting back. Yeah. I, I see somebody crying a lot. You know, all the time. Crying because you were never put first. You were always put after. Yeah, you were never put first. Yep. Be evaluating. Looking to go in a new direction. Yep, Wheel of Fortune. It's a wrap. That's how I sit. Listen, yes. 
Three of Swords, Heartbroken. And the Chariot. Okay. Okay. That's what I see going on with you. Yep, that's the truth. And you keeping it to yourself as well. I feel like you haven't ex I feel like you haven't really uh you know made that clear. That's it's the truth though. Listen, Queen of Wands, Four of Cups, yeah. You're about to though. Because you're about you're ready to cleanse all this out of your energy. Alright, let's see what's going on with your partner. Who is this over here? Who look at this, the death card. This man, listen, fire sign, it's over. <laughs> It's over. This is what's happening in your love life. Yes. Wow. The death card. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Fire signs. Spirit, what's this message for my fire signs? What's going on with fire signs person? Please and thank you. How are they feeling? What? What's their energy, spirit? Mm, 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 mm. What's this message for? Ooh. They feel ghosted. <laughs> they feel like you ghosting them. <laughs> ah, spirit, what's this message? <laughs> How does my fire signs person feel? <laughs> spirit, what's the message from my fire signs? And they feel stuck. Wow. <laughs> Spirit, what's the message for my fire signs? That person. What's oh we we got big success and pulling push and pull energy. We're gonna leave that right there. The days they confuse. Mm. So they're they're feeling like you're 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 giving them this push and pull energy. One minute you nice, one minute you cold, you know what I'm saying? One minute you talking to him, having a conversation. Next minute you ain't answering the phone. You know what I'm saying? Or you you quick to you give a yes and no answers. You're not really elaborating. They can tell by the energy, even through your text messages. I heard. <laughs> Ooh, yes, yeah, somebody tired, tired of the BS. Ooh, we come on out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what's going on with your person? This big success, yeah, they feel like you're having a success, that you're being successful at whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Mm. You know what I heard, though? They stuck because all they wanted was to be a big success. Pushing. They were the ones that was giving the push and pull energy. Wow. And when you ghosted them, that left them stuck because that's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> See, they're used to being the ones, right, that, listen, you see, you didn't say nothing. You just got this opportunity. You Are you about to get this opportunity? You ain't saying nothing. Ooh, we see. See, that's what happens. You beat somebody at their own game. Mm-hmm. Yep. You beat somebody at their own game. Yes, you did. Fire signs. <laughs> it's not that, that you were playing the game. I feel like you just got fed up and somebody really didn't see it coming. That's what. That's how this feels because, see, they were still playing the push and pull energy. The hot and cold just to get you to keep drawing you in. Oh, what's the matter? What's going on? So you got tired of that. And then they had somebody in their ear as well. You know what I'm saying? That was interfering. That's another reason, too. When it was cold, it was giving the other person the energy. Listen, the higher fun. Spirit said, I, that's enough is enough. That, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oop, what's, hold up. What we got? Look. Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. Independent. Successful. Like, you're good without this person. This is how they feel. I told you they feel like you're a success without them with whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. The moon. Hmm. They feel like you're blessed. They, they feel like you're lucky. <laughs> they do. They do. They feel like you're favored. Yeah. Somebody feels like you're favored. Yeah. 
We got the Wheel of Fortune over there too. And that's going to put you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. They see it. They see, you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing they see that how they treated you, that now that God's showing favor to you. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, this person could have ghosted you as well. Okay, take that how it resonates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. Wow. They see you working, mastering your skill. Some of you guys could be in school. Or you're looking to go to school. Hmm. Page of Swords. And they watching you. Hmm. They watching you. Mm-hmm. They want to come in. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think the universe is going to allow that. I think this person has blocked out your energy. I don't know if you guys are still in in the same household. I mean, you could be in the same household and still be blocked from somebody's energy. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Because somebody's going to leave anyway. Because <laughs> there ain't going to be nothing there. There's no energy. There's no warmth. You feeling me? Spirit, what's this message? Queen of Wands. Now, is this a good girl or a bad girl spirit? Look, the moon. Well, who is this Queen of Wands spirit? This could be... Hmm. If this is a female that's on... If the, if uh, if my collective is a male and this is a female that you're ending, that you're walking away from, this person could see you as somebody that's very stable, very blessed, very lucky, you're doing very well. You know what I'm saying? That whatever craft it is that you do, you know, you invest well, you pay your bills, you take care of things, you know, male or female, take it how it resonates. This, who's this Queen of Wands spirit? Oh, just like it. Ooh, wait, the devil. It came in the reverse. It was in the reverse, but still. Ooh, look. Ooh, this person is the devil. This person wanted you attached to them. See, this person wanted you attached to you to them. That that push and pull in energy, that that um treating you as if you weren't important, you know, running and taking care of other people before they, they took care of your needs, that kind of energy. That was that's a grooming. That's a grooming. I'm telling you, somebody in this person's family had them doing that to you. Because that's where they get it from. Or they could have watched it happen in their own family with the, uh, with their own parents. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Somebody wanted you. Yes. What's behind here? Yeah. Somebody wanted you bound to them. Somebody could have used sex, as a, sex too, to keep someone bound to them. Mm-hmm. Wow, spirit. That's why that death card was right at the top. Like, yep, this is over in this. If you were looking for confirmation, if you're doing the right thing, fire size you are. Spirit, what's going on here? Person could be a Capricorn. Let me see who else out here. We got Earth out here already. What's this? The Hermit. Earth sign. Virgo Capricorn. Hmm. Ooh, ten of swords. Look at that. Yeah, somebody betrayed you. Somebody, and I, and at, at the bottom of every card underneath is this this Knight of Pentacles. Somebody very immature, very immature, very wasteful. Mm-hmm. That's why their focus is always on money. That's why they've been stuck. Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving night in the deck. This person may have may have looked the part, but they but their age and they. Let me see how I'm gonna say this. I don't want to say a man child, cause that's. But this is somebody that acted their shoe size. How about that? That's what I'm gonna put it. With the arrogance, the immaturity, you know, it's like. And. Let me spirit. What's this message here? The fool. Look, yeah. Irresponsible. What did I say? Didn't I tell you somebody irresponsible? Could have been somebody you were married to. Four of Wands. Very irresponsible and very toxic. Listen, walking away from this, you gave it up. You surrendered. There was nothing in those cups. They were all empty. All of them were empty. Look, mm hmm. All of them were empty. 
me one more spirit before I um, get an outcome for this message from my fire signs. Anything else for the person side spirit? Ace of Cups. Wow. Hmm. You were there wish fulfillment, but they they created nothing but burdens for you. You felt like this was burdens. You may have thought this was your Ace of Cups. Because you married this person, you were connected to this person. This was a higher level commitment. Mm-hmm. Where it was unconditional love. You loved this person unconditionally, and they treated you as if no matter what they did, you was going to love them. Make sense? Make sense. See, some people ain't used to that. Some people take that as a sign of weakness. Spirit, what's the outcome for my fire signs? Well, we already know the outcome. <laughs> any messages, any uh, whatever, advice, advice. For my fire signs, please and thank you. Oh, 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 oh. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Didn't I tell you that somebody, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> watch their, their parents go through that? Watch either their mother or their father accept a lot of unnecessary bullshit from the other? Mm hmm. Stayed possibly because of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be, could be a little deep, more deep seated than that. You know what I mean? What else, spirit? Your love life benefits. Oh, I already said that. Okay, what else we got here? Engagement. All right, now. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Hmm. I don't know. What's under here? Getting to know each other. I feel like this is new love. Yeah. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Or... It could be <laughs> Listen, listen You know what, y'all could be feeling confused Because I am too Because uh, I don't know if somebody learns their lesson You know, that's further down But I really feel like this could be new love Coming in for you Because see, you've healed your wounds This person is stuck This person is stuck watching you now elevate And I feel like you're elevating because, see, you're moving away from this person. You're not bound to this person anymore. You're not bound to this toxic energy, and they see it. And you are taking a leap of faith. They see that, too, to a higher level of commitment. Just like I said, and the cards just said it, you are, uh, you know, ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is new for you. This is what this person sees. This is how they feel. They feel like you're taking a leap of faith into something new, and they're, exact, they're absolutely right. And the person that you're coming together with is that person, is your true love. Okay, fire signs. I hope you enjoyed the message. I'll see you. This is.